Is AstraZeneca's failure the begin of new COVID disaster? COVID numbers climbing tremendously, the vaccine is failing, hospitals are full, but masses encouraged by the country's president to go to the beaches in Brazil Europe relying on AstraZeneca vaccine shows this vaccine failing with some developing blood clots after receiving the vaccine. The United States seems way superior in the world based on the quality of vaccines used and the number administered. So my sister-in-law went to have vaccine yesterday. She has a autoimmune blood disease. The nurse was very familiar with her condition and recommended that she not get the AstraZeneca vaccine and wait for one of the other ones. So she left. Denmark reports a death and a critical illness after two AstraZeneca vaccinations, prompting more reviews of the vaccine in Europe. The Danish Medicines Agency said it was looking into whether the condition was a potential side effect. Thoyazins are on the street. AstraZeneca said their vaccine offers less protection against mild disease caused by the COVID-19 variant first discovered in South Africa, but offers the same efficacy against two other major variants. The United States vaccine program seems to be way more superior compared to what is on the market in Europe, Brazil, South Africa or Southeast Asia. In November the Trump administration was considering bypassing normal U.S. regulatory standards to fast-track an experimental coronavirus vaccine, what is now known as AstraZeneca from the UK for use in America ahead of the presidential election. One option that was explored was to speed up the availability of a vaccine that would involve the U.S. Food and Drug Administration awarding emergency use authorization, EUA, in October. The reasoning was based on the results from a relatively small UK study. The AstraZeneca study has enrolled 10,000 volunteers, whereas the U.S. government's scientific agencies have said that a vaccine would need to be studied in 30,000 people to pass the threshold for authorization. AstraZeneca is also conducting a larger study with 30,000 volunteers, although the results from that will come after the smaller trial. Asked if the U.K. study could be used to justify issuing an EUA in the U.S., Dr. Fauci said in November it was impossible to say without seeing the data. You have to see the data, the devil is in the details, he said. In the meantime the world is upside down. The future of an effective vaccine program for Europe is in question relying to a large part on AstraZeneca. Much of Europe has lagged behind the US and the UK in rolling out the COVID-19 vaccine. Doctors in Germany criticized the country's slow vaccine rollout, Germany vaccinated fewer than 10% of its population as of mid-March. France today resumed its use of AstraZeneca jabs after regulators ruled they are safe, but restricted their use to over 55 SE so turn on their previous position that only under 65 should get them. Source: Italy, the first country to enter into a nationwide lockdown in Europe back in March 2020, imposed new restrictions on March 15, 2021, to slow the third wave. German infectious disease expert Lothar Bühler said the third COVID-19 wave in Germany had already begun. Dirk Brockman, an epidemiologist at the Robert Koch Institute, said COVID-19 cases had risen exponentially due to easing restrictions too soon and the spread of transmissible variants. Hungary, which has had a 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew and online-only high school classes since November, imposed new restrictions in early March. The country now requires businesses to close doors for two weeks, allowing only grocery stores and pharmacies to stay open. 1,000 supporters of Hungary's far-right party, Mihezank Magalam, held a demonstration demanding an end to the restrictions. The country's daily new COVID-19 case count is at an all-time high. Poland announced a three-week partial lockdown, closing shops, hotels, and theaters starting March 20. The country reported 25,052 new COVID-19 cases this week, the highest toll in 2021. Indonesian authorities on Friday approved the use of AstraZeneca's vaccine after reviewing reports that it had caused blood clots among some recipients in Europe. Indonesia is grappling with one of the worst coronavirus outbreaks in Asia with 1,455,788 cases and 39,447 deaths as of Saturday. A coronavirus vaccine developed by China's Sinovac has been found to only be 50.4% effective in Brazilian clinical trials, according to the latest results released by researchers. It shows the vaccine is significantly less effective than previous data suggested barely over the 50% needed for regulatory approval. The Chinese vaccine is one of two that the Brazilian government has lined up. Brazil has been one of the countries worst affected by COVID-19. 
The president of Brazil is encouraging citizens to go to the beach and sucking in vitamin D.